Hey, hey, mailbag 26-ish. And a couple new little toys, some restocking supplies, and something. Not sure which, but I'll find out in a moment. Uh, I'm going to start with these, and if I have time, I'll uh, do a bit more on them at the near the end of the video. Uh, but they basically are portable um, oscilloscopes. So, let's start with them. This one here, Amazon. Good thing it was Amazon because it basically came unsealed. So this is, um, you know, put how much it costs, etc. up there. Uh the Wistech DSO oscilloscope. Uh, this is not totally portable uh, since it actually has a wall wart. But I've seen these on the internet and I wanted to get a couple. I unfortunately ordered this one first. And if I had actually seen this one, um, probably wouldn't have ordered this one. So, let's just do a quick uh, check on it. Power supply. Power supply. Somewhere over here. Yeah. Okay. Over there. Fire this up. On. So, put it like that. You can see it. It works. Not too bad. I didn't order the one with proper um, probes because I've got other probes, which would probably be better than what this thing would come with. So, oops. There we go. And as I say, near the end of the video or as a separate video, I'll do a bit more on this one. And the price was previously up there. On to the next. And on this one. If it's what I think it is. Uh, this took 11 or 9 days to get here. I bought this one on eBay. And this should be a totally internal battery type 1. Mini pocket handheld oscilloscope. Looks like it's in both languages. So, let's just turn this on. And... Okay, there's a charge. Okay. Hmm. I guess okay... Nope, there's a power button. And no charge. Obviously, I'll just put this on charge for a while and we'll continue with the rest of the stuff. Next package. Well, the batteries on the other one uh, get some juice in them. And of course, packages inside packages. Let me just uh, remove some labels. So this group of packages uh, was shipped by AliExpress on October 15th and arrived on the 27th. And what I'm just going to do is empty each of the packages and see what's in here. Ah, some LEDs.
some chips. restocking and and something oh pH meter so let me grab my notes. Okay, picked up ten uh, battery holders, two different sets, some triple A's and some double A's, ten of them of each. Uh, this is just basically restocking. I'll put down where I got them, etc., over there or there, and how much they cost. So, oops. Okay, be difficult. I'll bring this up here. Uh, this is just restocking. Um, I've been using these. They're going to be used mostly for garden lights. I've got a whole bunch of... Solar panels, batteries, and electronics from one's uh, garden lights that have basically rotted. So these here cost $3.02 for 10, $3.02 for 10 over here. And they look pretty good quality. We'll see how well they work in the future. Next item is a pH meter. And did it come with batteries? Don't know. You better read the manual. It didn't help much. Okay. Well, this thing's cute. Uh, didn't come with a battery, and I have no idea which type it uses. It says replace the two 1.5 volt batteries. I'm just, eh, I'll have to figure this one out. Uh, but what it is, is it's a pH meter. Uh, there's the bulb there. Uh, one is the reference ground, or whatever for pH. I picked this up because I picked up a bunch of pH uh, probes, etc. from an auction. And I wanted to have something where I can compare the two and see how everything works. Uh, where I got it from is there, or there, and the price was $3.57 plus shipping, which worked out to $7.84, and no batteries. So it says two batteries. Hmm. Oh, well. And the next is... Uh, some chips. These are quad CMOS NOR CD4001BE. I'll put up where I got them from and then I'll put the spec sheet there. I just don't have any in stock so I figured I'd pick these ones up. And I can't even remember what project it was going to be for. And these are some 10 watt, 250 milliamp LED modules. Okay. 
one out of here. And I'll just hook up some power for it. I believe this was also ordered on October 15th. And there's probably multiple packages in here. Yes. So, one package turns into two packages. Now, I'm not sure if these are cables or not. So I better be careful when I'm cutting. Yes. A white one. Ordered a whole bunch of cables at one time. Okay. Red. Black. Striped. Green. Rose. And white. Now these should be um, mostly... Uh, USB to type C and I'll open these up and there should be almost all half meter cables and of course up in the corner there I will put down the price on each of these now some of them are listed as um, charge and some are listed as charge data cables so it'll be interesting to see what's connected on these. And another one. Hopefully I won't be buying too many more cables for a while. Oh, and other thing. Okay, let me grab my sheet. So, I'll put the stuffs up in the corner as they come along. Here's that little cable tester I picked up a little while ago. And, oh, I'll actually find out what each of these is. Well, let's try this again. This time, uh, hopefully, I'll be a bit more organized. Okay. Power bank. This cute little thing I picked up... Uh, mailbag or two ago for testing cables the whole idea is i wanted to pick up okay um when the cost of dollar 72 dollar 72 dollar 11 dollar 32 and one that's supposed to be really really good for three dollars and eight cents and just check to see what's all connected in them so this one here is a type c Probably should get my fingers off the chip. And it's all good. Data and charging. Okay, reset. Yeah. So that's actually the what they call white. Um, this one here is red. And it's a type C. It's good. The black one is a type C to type C. It's good. Green one to type C, and it's good. And now the rose one, which is actually to a micro. And yes, I did order it to a micro, and it's good also. This one here is, I guess this one here, $1.72, and it's supposed to be one of those multi-color 
changing. And if it's not this one here, I'll have it corrected up there. Okay, it's good, but it's not giving all the different uh, colors. But when I plug it into the little wall wart over here, and I try to plug it in the right way, there it goes. I might have to take the exposure off on this. There we go. So that one's doing what it's supposed to do. So they all appear to work. I've got to figure out some way to testing the speeds on these. But, uh, eh, not bad. Bought them really for charging. Since occasionally you do lose these things. And... Now the next item. It's a um, USB supposedly 3 to card reader. I don't have one, though I just ordered another one. Um, and I really don't have anything to try this out on uh, for the time being. I don't want to stick in uh, my new memory card for... Uh, my um, camera that I just bought. So at a later date, I'll try this out. It was a total of $2.68. Um, when I open up the next mailbag, I'll probably have a USB breakout and a card reader combined. And at that time, I can try this one out with it and see if it works. Okay, and here's the two oscilloscopes, the battery-operated one and the wall wart-operated one. I've got these cross-connected, so the probe from this one is uh, connected to the ground of this one also, and then um, the test is going over to the test point on this one. Same as on this one, uh, the grounds are interconnected, but I'm actually reading the test signal from this one over here. Uh, both of them are reading uh, 1 kilohertz, which is what they're supposed to, about 3.4 volts, and a 50% uh, duty cycle. So they both work. Um, only disadvantage I can see on this one initially is this type of connector instead of the full-size connector. So you can't be grabbing your other probes and doing it but then if you're buying these you're probably quite happy with this type of connector um, and for the price that I showed previously these are dirt cheap compared to that one there and and my old one down here so I'd say it's actually uh, getting a lot cheaper to get into electronics if you need a scope. And, uh, and I believe both of these are 200 kilohertz uh, maximum. So yeah, they're not going to be up into the megs or gigs, but hey, not bad. And today was definitely a fumbling, muttering day. So have a good day. See you later.